Hi. Hello. I'm just about to do a painting and wanted to say hello first. That is kind of hard down here. That's an awkward angle. But I got the um, I got the paper ready, and I wanted to, as I say, I wanted to say hello before making a start. So I'm gonna hop into bed here now, and hopefully um, everything will be um set up so that you can see. And so. I'll tell you what my rough plan is there now without even really looking at it first. I thought I might do a little drawing of my of my own hand. Let me just fix you a wee bit better there, I think. Awkward. And you know, I'm not so sure now about that light. If I turn that light off. I think the iPad is quite good to kind of acclimatized to whatever lighting it's presented with. Oh. But as you can probably tell, my stand isn't playing ball. It's kind of... Oh, there we are. Okay, that's not too bad now, is it? And it makes it easier for me to see my hand without some sort of kind of psycho lighting. Um, and then I've got my water on the bedside table there. Got these two palettes, and um, that green was a bit distracting there. Okay, Maisie's sitting beside me here, so the, the, I don't want to start moving the camera again now. So I'll just let you where you are, and if I work here, you'll be able to see. My hand, and you'll be able to see the picture if there's any luck. Yeah, and hmm, I could do with having the water a bit closer to me. Maisie, do you want to sit up there so you can be seen too? She's doing her usual round of the bed, finding a position she's happy in. It's a bit like me getting ready for the painting, isn't it? I like to have everything on the right hand side because I'm right handed. If I put the pillow underneath this now, I think it'll allow me to more easily reach it. How about that? And maybe I could put the um, water there as well. Okay, I feel a bit happier about that. Although I want to turn it this way. But I think the colors in my hand are more those kind of colors. So hello, this is Anya Divine here. For those of you who've not tuned in before, thanks for joining us. I'm coming to you from uh, my bedroom here. This is um, coming to you from my bedroom here. I'm still grappling with the position of things. You get underway in any second. See that shadow is kind of annoying me a little bit, and I want it be raised up slightly. <clears throat> okay, and at a certain point it's helpful to just stop trying to get everything perfect and make a start on the drawing. So that's where I'm at just now. I'm gonna make a start on the drawing. That's the plan. So today you know is the first of um January. Straighten the microphone so it doesn't get in the way. There's quite a few things to deal with, isn't there here? And you might think I could have all this organised before I start, but if I was to do that I think I would never start. I almost need the urgency of getting it ready for you in real time. So here we go. I think that's an okay position for my hand to be in there. <coughs> and I'm half closing my eyes. 
hands and looking at the darks darks and lights and straight away there's a dark area inside there shape between the index finger and the thumb just checking you can see okay there yeah so today is the first day of 2022 how about that first day of 20 22. Hmm. Right, so I'm finding the shape, and you know, in the first instance there I didn't exactly get the shape, but it's very rare that I would get it right first time, you know, if there is a so-called uh, uh, right to be getting. Because, like I often say on um, videos, where to put them? You know, I've kind of hidden the microphone way right down there now, and then I'd be wondering why is my voice a bit muffled. So I'm going to put the microphone here on this side, and I think that'll keep me a little bit clearer. As I often say in these um, videos, when I get around, to, oh, I move my hand. Ding dong. I forgot that was my subject. <laughs> Where was it now? I think it's okay like that. Yeah, well, it's kind of relevant to what I'm saying, actually, because I was going to start talking about the evidence of the drawing process and the finding marks being part of the whole thing. And in a way, the finding marks, the bits where you're grappling to discover where something is placed, those offer evidence of the looking. No, I'm putting a different colour in here because I don't want the colour that's dark in there to be representing the same represented um, in the same tone as the skin up here because this the skin of the index finger is catching the light a lot more than at least the shadow in here is. Um, yeah, so, you know, there's this kind of intent looking that means it's got a curiosity to it, like fe a feeling of being curious to find out. And I think it needs to, there needs to be that clean, curious, um, curiosity in order to There needs to be a clean curiosity in order to have space for what's really there to be seen. <sighs> Something like that. Okay. Something like that. You know that if you're kind of if there's any assumption whatsoever or any preconceived idea, you can't get away with that. Like when you're looking at something. It won't let you get away with it. It won't let you remember what my finger looked like yesterday. You have to look at what it is like here today in this light, in this moment. And actually, even in this emotional state, you know, whatever it is that's happening inside me is going to inform it as well, I reckon. And, I, and, and it's, that's the thing that's... Um, that I'm kind of curious about more than anything really is to see what it reveals to myself about what I'm feeling. It all sounds, that sounds far more knowledgeable than I feel. I just feel that there's something in here that that's available to me to kind of discover something about my, my own state somehow, you know. I don't get it all really, but... I suppose there's a certain openness and there's nowhere to hide, you know, when you're kind of doing this looking and drawing down as faithfully as you can, then you can't but um, you can't but um, be present 
I'm kind of losing my thread there, so I don't even. Oh, this part of me feels like. Why am I even talking now? It wouldn't be any harm to stop talking for a while. In order that I can really. Be with whatever is going on here. Hmm. The colours look quite exciting on the palette, don't they? There's lots of great colour there. you're like me every so often a thought comes into my head of something that I've not done or forgotten to do you know these kind of things that can arrest you it's like the opposite of being surprised by joy <laughs> it's going to get a stab of oh I have to return those clothes there's a mattress I discovered in the cupboard downstairs that needs to go back to Ikea and um, you know like in everybody's life there's a whole list of things and I imagine some folk don't get don't get surprised by those things because they've got them under control. <laughs> and sometimes I feel like I'm managing okay, and other times I feel like, oh my God, could someone please just do my life for me? Sometimes that happens. I wonder, can you see it all? Is my head in the way the whole time? That would be really annoying if it was. I can't tell because every time I go back to the drawing position, obviously I'm not looking at the camera. I could bring you a bit further down, that might mean I wouldn't be in the way, I don't know. I'll just push over, push over it a little bit that way just to be sure and the model has moved again now I'm trying to get back into some sort of a position I picked up this brush because this brush allows me to lift off and I need to lift off a bit of the thumb there where it's covering the index finger and lift off a piece of that thumb carve it out because it's overlapping the index finger a bit. Um, this isn't my usual paper. My usual paper allows me to lift out a little bit more easily. But this is good enough. And it's paper. It's handy to have it. As one of those things that it stabs me a little bit is that I need to order some paper from the... I don't know why things have to hurt before I do them. I suppose it's... I can imagine a lot of you will do the same thing, you know, wait until it becomes awkward and then you just have to do the job. I don't mind. There's a lot of great stuff that's working in my life so I must remember that when I start to feel like I've failed and actually someone sent me this um, quote by Samuel Beckett no matter try again fail better yeah no matter try again fail better it was from Pat Coakley thanks Pat whole thing about being able to fail isn't there so these are my three fingers now behind the thumb coming out there <laughs> I still don't know if I'm blocking your view the whole time in which case this won't be posted at all this video no so that's going over there so that would be helpful helpful for that to be a similar color a little flash of light in there that's baby finger as well and that little leg is no longer needed because it's not it's not there anymore, whatever that was that I painted in. Hmm. 
There might be some serious anatomical shifts actually. Anyway, this is thumb. Thumb, thumb, thumb. I reckon this is another one that's um, gonna struggle its way into shape, this picture. I think if I move my head quickly enough, I'll, I'll be able to see whether it's in the way or not. It's like something a small child would do, isn't it? But I think if I turn around quick enough, the camera won't be as quick as me. Yeah, so there's some shifts needed here now. Might even need to bring that in. And it's a shame because I actually kind of like the knuckle there. I could just increase the size of everything, but then I'd need to push this finger up a bit too. I think maybe that finger is going to push up anyway. Let's push him up. I'm not so attached to that one. Yeah, I'll just move that up there. And there's a little bend in it there. I must try and remember not to move my fingers again now because I think each time it's slightly different when I come back after moving it. <coughs> that alone for a while. And then down there, the, uh, hmm, if I was to draw a straight line up from the bulb of my thumb here, yeah, so the bottom of the wrinkle, I think, everything is, uh, everything is kind of, you know, there's no very clear anchor point, but I'll, I'll kind of gather uh, I'll get there gradually. But like I was saying yesterday, maybe it's okay to be a bit lost for a while and then can kind of find ways through or even not, but survive it. Anyway. Well, I had a walk in the rain with Maisie and my friend earlier this evening. I had a walk in the rain. It, it was torrential when I went out first. And then as we started to walk, it dried up, dried up really a lot. I went down to near where my friend lives. It's, there's a couple of tunnels there. So we thought we could just go from one tunnel to the next if it was raining hard. But it, it was actually quite nice, you know, for most of the walk. And then we turned around to come back. And it started lashing with rain. Like really lashing. I think there was hailstones as well. And for it being such a nice day in terms of temperature, it was amazing that there was hailstones suddenly. It was like, I did feel a bit, to be honest, like laughing out loud. It was so wild. But my friend wasn't so keen. He's not been feeling the best. So I didn't really feel appropriate to laugh. But there was something very um, primal about the whole vigor of it. Like I went for a swim earlier today too. And the water is a thing that I do find healing, nourishing, helpful, clarifying. So it felt a little bit like... Um, chapter two of my water cleanse on the first day of 2022 maybe this is chapter three of the water cleanse mind you it feels like this is a bit more of a yeah i'm sure my face is in the way this feels a bit more like um less like a cleanse more like a <laughs> It's like, it's, it's not at all clear to me what's needing to happen next. Or what's already happened at least isn't really clear. There's something kind of really, uh, uh, that's a relief about 
about um, knowing that it's not going the best and still keeping on with it like something fortune favors the brave isn't that something that if you kind of keep the faith that eventually as Sigurd said eventually the deaf canvas listens and the painting be- paints itself but there's something about keeping the faith he said if you put free loose coat over free loose coat eventually the deaf canvas listens and the painting paints itself and it's the free loose coat thing and there has to be a feeling I think of freedom if you're if you're to apply the paint with that kind of sense of bravado you know even when you're feeling like it's not going anywhere or there's nothing seems to match what you're seeing or you know to just still keep with that and I'd say nine times out of ten even in those instances it's it's at best okay but there will be the one or two times when the painting will feel as though it's painting itself and my god it's all worth it for that then (laughs) I think we all know don't we that place of feeling fully merged with everything and flowing like everything is just predestined that you don't even it doesn't matter where your hand moves but it seems to go to the right place and do the right thing that's a lovely place to reside in even if it's a fleeting thing it does feel like anything else um, on the run up to it was worth it then but it's on the run up that you don't feel like it's worth it and then it makes sense sometimes it makes sense for goodness sake sometimes you know what I'm so nervous about my ear covering the picture the whole time that I'm going to stop and just do part two so I'm going to stop and check that my face isn't covering your view of what I'm doing and also it'll give me a breather to let it dry a while and consider what to do next so tune in for step two